Hey y'all, it's Sharon. I'm back to share another policing experience with you guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm a retired detective. I worked for 20 years for a Southeastern city in the US. I was also in the military. I am sharing my experiences along with my perspective in hopes of just helping someone uh, in similar situation. And the situation being, I was ostracized and retaliated against. Whistle blew two times, both situations. I talk about those experiences and how I had to go inward and really uh, clean up the baggage and things that were, that were going on with me. And I want to get back to being woke. I did two videos on that uh, week before last and the week before that. And woke is, uh, I think I forgot, somebody asked me what was woke. And I said, woke is. Woke is when our kindness and empathy isn't self-serving. And they looked at me kind of strange. And I said, think about it. When you're being kind to somebody or showing empathy and it's not self-serving, meaning you're not getting something out of it, but it's 100% for the person you're doing it for, that's what woke is. And so I think they wanted to argue to tell you the truth because this anti-woke movement, that's all woke is. You go inside and you have to do some uh, inspection within you to see why you're you're being kind, to, to see what is the motive for you being, uh, having empathy. That's within you. And uh, I think they were surprised by that, but that's what woke is. And I wanted to talk to you about being asleep as opposed to being woke. Asleep is basically when, how do I say this? When your awareness is significantly, significantly low, eventually emptying you of power, peace, or position. That last P in sleep, it could be power, it could be position, or it could be peace. For me, it was peace. Being asleep. When your awareness is significantly low, eventually emptying you of peace. Because when you're not aware of your surroundings, <laughs> you know, you always see the comedians and people that are not aware going into neighborhoods and getting hit over the head. Your awareness is connected to your peace. And a lot of times I'm guilty of it. I'm definitely guilty of it. I used to just not want to see things or just be totally ignorant to situational things around the world. It doesn't affect me maybe because it's not so close to home. Um, but I started to consider other folks, you know, basically consider uh, like Flint, Michigan and water. At one time I was like, I hope they get that fixed. Man, how long has it been? Years? And then I walk off and that's it. That's all the consideration I would give it. But now when I think, I actually put myself in a situation like knowing me, I'm gonna boil the water because I don't wanna drink it like that. How am I gonna clean if the water's not clean? How am I gonna clean myself if the water's not clean? So I'm thinking about how many gallons of water can I buy from the store? Um, can I fill up? I probably do something like a rain barrel or something. I would be thinking about all these things and how time consuming it would be would be and challenging man and that's me being aware of a situation that's a couple of hundred miles away from me it's just an example guys but being aware is considering considering the the environment or the situation uh that other people are in because remember i talked about that line of de demarcation last week and for me, I should have basically said it was white men. For me, I'm not crossing that line. I'm not going over to to get to know you. I, I, I'm not going to uh, ungroup all white men. That was my line of demarcation because I said white men were low-key racist and downright disrespectful. That's what I thought. And I wasn't crossing over to even give it a thought in terms of, well, that was just one situation and they're not all like that. And I wasn't doing that. But eventually, I told you, the Holy Spirit had to deal with me and I had to go inside and figure out why. And I told you what happened when I was 11 with the security guard pulling a gun on us. And I think that just stained my memory. And so for me, all white men, like I said, they were low key racist and downright disrespectful. I no longer think that. But there was a line that I was not willing to cross to even give it a thought to consider that not all white men are like that. So. I wanted to share that with you because being woke 
again, woke is when our kindness and empathy isn't self-serving. And for me, again, the example of white men, me being kind to a white guy or showing empathy way back when was only because maybe uh, they were with the sergeant or something like that, or, or they were in the store and I needed something and I needed to be nice. Again, I no longer think like that, but I'm just giving you an example of my own life and how I had to clean, clean up some of that, that line of demarcation. I had to knock that down with white guys. And I know why all white men are not like that. I, I, I understand that. I, I believe it now because I behave differently towards each encounter, you know? So I wanted to share that with you guys. Being asleep is when your awareness is significantly low and it will eventually rob you of peace, position, or power. So I'm waking up. I hope you are too. Hey guys, take a look at our online store. The link is in the description. I created some notebooks along with some word uh, search puzzle books. The links for those are in the description. And always remember, hit like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment. The other thing to remember is you don't necessarily have to go through a thing to learn from it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.